story and could be very triggering for most people. For the rest of the cycles, let's talk about the movie. Melon is a supernatural horror movie that follows our main protagonist, Jennifer Lauren. Jennifer Lauren is a rookie cop whose father used to be a chief of police. The father also a year ago shot up a lot of people in this exact same police station that he's, she's gonna go for the last shift. And the main reason why they're shutting down this old police station is not because only, you know, this all terrible situation happened, but even the cops in this place do not feel comfortable working in this police station because of a lot of disturbance. So our dear beautiful Lauren over here decides that fuck everything, my dad's so important, my dad can never be a murderer, and decides to go to this old police station in hopes to find some sort of clue or information that could piece up this entire mystery for her. And as she enters this particular police station, we meet the current chief of police telling her specifically to not go to the holding cell and that there's a lot of black mold that can make her hallucinate. And just like what he said, Lauren actually goes through multiple incidents, not only one, not only two, but multiple of incidents where she does not only see the ghost of those who got shot up in this whole prison a year ago, but even sees demons and other apparitions as well. Slowly as time goes by, she also learns more and more about her own history, her mother and her father as well. The most scariest scene in this entire movie has to be this particular scene. This is right before we actually see the demon, the apparition that's been haunting her all this while. Again, we don't know if this is just illusion because of the black mold or if it's really happening at this point. And she goes to the shooting practice place and think there's nobody here, right? And yet this paper thingy where you shoot at keeps on attacking her. And right behind this specific paper thingy, you'll see the demon waiting for her. Again, this movie is not for those with a weak heart. You have to be really aware that this movie is actually very scary. With this jump scare, even without the jump scare, it is quite scary and has a good story to it too. Those of you who are like experts in horror, you guys probably know The Last Shift as well. And The Last Shift is an identical movie to Malam with just a different ending. If you haven't watched uh, Malam or Last Shift, I would suggest you to start with Malam and then only The Last Shift. Because the Malam and The Last Shift, it has such similar story, you might already see what's coming. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, don't forget to give me a like.